I use the word share often when I'm talking about sharing content that we find in our LinkedIn newsfeed. And I've got to stop using that word because it's not the right word anymore. The word now is repost. So let me share with you <laughs> the, how the repost button works and what your options are with that button today. Well, first of all, again, you can still send. This is actually pretty good. You, when you send, you can send it to individuals. So I can send it to Randy and I can send it to Rebecca. And when I choose their names, I've got two really cool options here. One is I can send it to them individually or I can put it in a group message for both of them to see. And they will see that I've sent the same piece of content to the to the other persons now in the group i don't use that often and the reason why i don't use it often is because not everybody wants to be in a group message now let's go back to repost the new word for share this word right here gives you two features first of all i can hit the repost which will instantly take this piece of content this post that came from a bin that was shared by Chris, note this, it's not gonna, sh it's not gonna repost what um, Chris put out there, it's gonna repost the original post from a bin. It's important to understand that. If you want to put the post out there that Chris did, well, you're gonna have to do this manually and what you're gonna have to do is get the three dots right here and copy the link and then you can make a post with that link, which will include Chris and his comments about a Ben's post. Now, back to the repost button. That's uh, what repost is instantly going to put out a Ben's original post. Repost with your thoughts is sort of kind of the original share. And let me show you what it does. When I click on that, it brings up what what we think about is a regular post button or a post you know a creation of creating a post with that uh, original post from a bin note not chris but the original post from a bin in there and now i have the option and i refer to it as not an option but a requirement for me to tell the viewer my thoughts why i am sharing this now a couple more things to note and that is this I had the ability to post to anyone, but look when I click on that, I can post it for anyone, anyone on Twitter, connections only, or, or to a group. And furthermore, I can go up here and click on my name and I can post it as a company page or a showcase page, not as Teddy. So you get to change who's sharing it. You get to change to, based on these parameters who can see it, including the groups that you are a member of. And again, as I showed you earlier, I get the ability to tell the viewer why I'm sharing it. Now, this is not a company page post. A company page post for people who have more than 300 followers, you can uh, do what's called target audience. This is an individual, oh, let me show that to you. If I go over here and click on this and Go to Burris Consulting and hit save. Now I can do my targeted audience as a company page post. But again, you cannot do targeted audience as an individual. You can only choose anyone, anyone, Twitter, connections only, or two groups. This is all wrapped up under the repost button, which I need to refer to as a repost button because it's no longer the share button. I'm Teddy, your LinkedIn sales navigator dude. I hope this is helpful for you.